Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is the fifth movie in the Mission Impossible franchise. It only took you 19 years, but yeah. And the plot of Rogue Nation is Ethan Hunt is now out to prove that the Syndicate is real. And in the words of the immortal Benji, that is an anti-IMF out to do kind of what a reverse good IMF would do. But instead of saving people, they actually kill people. And, of course, Alec Baldwin's character, who works for the CIA, thinks Ethan Hunt is behind all these dastardly acts, so he wants to do anything to get to him and try and stop him, even if it means he has to die for it. I, I never have a problem with any Mission Impossible movie except Mission Impossible 2. That was the only hiccup in the road. Everyone since then have been great. Rogue Nation is no exception. This movie is phenomenal. I, I can't believe how fucking good this movie is. This movie surpassed Ghost Protocol. How the hell is that possible? I didn't think nothing could top that movie. But now, five movies in, I'm, I'm here to say I'm not going to be worried about the sixth one because I know they're working on the sixth one. Six. Sixth one was announced, I think, in June. So I know that's coming. So I can't wait. And uh, I can't wait to see what they do with that. The team aspect that was in the fourth one that worked so well is back in here too. It works even better. Just without Paula Patton. But, but, oh my god, Rebecca Ferguson, where in the fuck did this girl come from? Holy shit, she is the definition of badass, okay? Look that shit up in the dictionary, her name is going to be right there next to it, okay? This woman holds her fucking own in this movie, she shoots, she shoots, she whoops that ass, I love how, I love her fighting style, okay? Especially comes when it comes towards the end of the movie. Oh my god, this woman can kick that ass. And another memorable thing about this movie is the villain. Holy shit. Her character and the villain in this movie both remind me of Bond girl and Bond villain type bad uh, people. Because it, it's, it, it's right out of a page of a James Bond story. You don't know if she's on the good side or if she's on the bad side. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, because they played that that card a few times in this movie to keep twisting your head around, which I like. They're kind of cock teasing you over the head with it. She's good or she bad? She's good, she bad. You know. And the bad guy, I like him. He has a great purpose in this movie. It's kind of hard to understand what he says because he kind of sounds like Eddie Redmayne from Jupiter Ascending. So if you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. But 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 he doesn't talk the way he did and then yell everything else okay the way he talks is the way he talks okay <laughs> so that's a plus that's a fucking plus though oh uh, man although he kind of looks like a blonde Eddie Redmayne with glasses but anyway yeah Simon Pegg is a uh, Simon Pegg is just in franchises man from Star Trek to the, the Cornetto trilogy, to now the Mission Impossible series, since number three he's been in. So this is what, his third movie now? Wow. Wow. And he has, he has a, I love the fact that everybody has something to do in this movie. He has something to do, and it's not like small thing. He has something big he has to do in order to make the mission work. And I love how they cut it. This movie is edited fucking well, okay? I love how they crisscross each scene together to make it work in this interchangeable type thing and when it when it plays out you're like wow this is just fucking amazing and the action is fucking amazing the motorcycle scene in this movie outweighs the motorcycle scene in Mission Impossible 2 because that this one was even faster Tom Cruise still does his own fucking stunts fucking dude takes off on a fucking airplane like eight or ten times I've seen how the movie was made a little bit so I kinda know how many times he took off already the fact that he did that so many fucking times is mind-boggling. This man has no fucking fear. I'm just waiting to see what Mission Impossible 6 is going to do. What's he going to do in that fucking movie? He already climbed the tallest building. He took off on the fucking side of an airplane. Okay? He jumped off between rooftops to rooftop on the building in MI3. Goddamn. 
what the hell can Tom Cruise do next? I don't know, but I'm going to be right there front and center to find that shit out. And by the way, see this movie in IMAX, because that is the frontal experience of this motherfucker. Especially that shot in airplane. Oh my god, this movie's awesome. Whew, and for that reason alone, Rogue Nation will get my badass silver approval of the best Mission Impossible so far. Down below, I will have my ranking of the Mission Impossible films. As I want to know your ranking of all five of these movies down below, list them down below. And let me know what you guys think about Rogue Nation. <clears throat> Did you like it? Did you hate it? Well, off to the sixth movie we go. But please, Tom, please don't take another four fucking years. I can't wait no more. I can't wait four fucking years. Okay? I need my, I need my Mission Impossible. I need it at least another two, two and a half. At the most. Two and a half, man. Not three to four years. Come on, dude. Give, give, give a brother that. Alright? <laughs> but anyways, I'm out.